The 1994 Banco Kiho Alu Slack Key Guitar Festival continues. Proudly sponsored by Bank of Hawaii, Hawaii's bank. In the early 1800s, vaquero, or cowboys, were brought from Mexico to Waimea to help with the growing cattle problem in the islands. Captain George Vancouver, in command of the HMS Discovery, had brought Kamehameha a gift of several head of cattle in 1793. Since then, the animals were running wild and increasing in numbers rapidly. Along with their saddles, lariats, and special clothing, the vaquero brought with them their guitars. After long days of riding and roping on the slopes of Mauna Kea, they would relax in the evening, playing their guitars and singing the songs of their homeland. The Hawaiian Paniolos must have found the guitar a fascinating instrument, for most of the pre-Western Hawaiian instruments were percussive. Having watched and listened to the Spaniards, the Paniolo probably learned the basic mechanics of producing sound on the guitar, but it's doubtful they learned very much about the music. Their days were occupied with the tasks of mastering ranch work. The Spaniards were here only briefly and departed within a few months, leaving the wonderful stringed instruments with their island students. Left to their own device, the Hawaiian musicians loosened the strings, creating a greater resonance and a sympathetic harmony between the strings. This produced a major chord tuning and a new phrase in the language, key, tuning key, and ho'alu, or slack, to slacken the key. As time went on, each player produced a specific tuning style that became individually cherished and protected. The playing of Kiho'alu gradually spread to the other islands, primarily as an accompaniment to songs, as in the old days the words of popular songs were more important than the music. Since then, slack key guitar has become much more of a solo instrument, and the technique has developed in richness and complexity while retaining its unique Hawaiian spirit. You can see the crowd still packed behind us. Up next on stage, longtime Hawaii musician, Kelo Beamer, who plays songs from his latest release, Wooden Boat. He's being joined on stage by a man affectionately known as the number one slack key fan in the world, new age recording artist, George Winston. I sort of transcend, uh, and I think that happens to a lot of players. We just sort of go someplace. I don't know where that place is, but it's, it's beautiful. And, you know, so sometimes we're, we just let the music kind of open a door and, and take us there.
Iraqi tradition is the basis of what, what I think of all life and all existence. So um, uh, it's not like, yeah, it's just kind of uh, beyond words for me. As Ray Connie would say, words could never express. We've got a real treat for you now. He's known as the fastest fingers in Hawaii. Everybody's favorite, Kiho Alu player, Ledward Ka'apana. Once again, from the late Uncle Fred Punoho. And he told me the story about this song. He told me this song tell the stuff how the Hawaiians used to mix poi. All you gotta do is watch the fingers. You so never, <laughs> never lose the hand. Yeah, and then the song called the Mauna Loa Thraki. I go to the west coast and the east coast and I mean uh, Slacky is getting real big up there in the mainland and um, some of the people um, when they hear the Slacky they kind of uh, take them back to the days so they even uh, them start dropping tears and you know when they think of the, the old days and they always say, um, ask me what kind of music is that I say oh this is what we call uh, Kihualo or Hawaiian Slacky. Mm -hmm. 